The uh, Board of Directors of Community Television of Santa Cruz County organizing meeting of November 26th, 2018. Would the Secretary please call the roll? Director Mizier. Here. Director Hall. Here. Director Rand. Here. Director Wade. Director Manheim. Here. Director Laurent. Here. Director O'Driscoll. Here. Director Owen. Here. Thank you very much. Um, item number two on the agenda is oral communications. I see two people sitting in the audience. Would either of you like to address us today? No, seeing none, uh, we can move on to uh, consideration of late additions to the agenda uh, and any additions or deletions to the consent and regular agendas. Would any of the directors like to pull anything from consent or add anything last minute to the agenda? No, seeing none, we can move on to the consent agenda, which comprises, uh, is comprised of three items to approve the minutes of the board meeting of October 22nd, 2018 accept the Finance Committee minutes of November 20th, 2018, and approve the recommendations of the Finance Committee to accept the October 2018 financial reports. Would uh, anybody like to comment on this? Perhaps the uh, chair of the Finance Committee? No, uh, the one, one thing is it, it's in our uh, executive director's report and I'll let her give some of the good news on that. Okay, <laughs> excellent, excellent. So uh, would, uh, I would entertain a motion to approve the consent agenda. I move the consent agenda. Second. All right, we have a motion and a second. All in favor, uh, indicate by saying aye. 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 Any opposed or extension? Uh, abstentions? None, seeing none, okay, that item carries. Um, we can move on to the regular agenda. Um, item number seven is the election of a board member for the seat expiring November 2018. That was held by Adam Wade, who is our K through 12 um, representative. Um, we just received word that um, he's not going to be able to attend tonight, and there should be a new representative of K-12 um, to be uh, announced this coming Thursday, if I understood correctly. Um, so we will um, table that item for now and move on to uh, item 8, which is the election of officers for the coming year. Um, would any of the directors like to propose a, um, a slate? I would. Director Manheim. I would um, propose nominating uh, for board chair Maitreya Mazares, um, for vice chair Matilda Hall. Matilda for, Rand, it's okay. But Matilda uh, Rand, I apologize. I'm not going to do the treasury <laughs> at the same time. I'm on the other side of the table. <laughs> <laughs> um, for secretary Larry Laurent and for treasurer Joe Hall. All right. Um, do we need a second for that? How, who's our parliamentarian? Uh, that's a motion for uh, to uh, appoint uh, those officers. Is there a second? I'll second. Uh, thank you, Director O'Driscoll. Uh, any discussion? Any uh, counter proposals? Uh, it's not too late. <laughs> <laughs> Anybody want to withdraw before we? <laughs> Anybody want to sit here? <laughs> um, okay. Anybody uh, in the audience uh, like to comment on this item? No. Seeing none, um, I will call the vote. All in favor, please indicate by saying aye. 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 Any opposed? Abstentions? I want to vote against myself. All right, um, that carries uh, unanimously. All right, so um, now that we've gotten that uh, out of the way, uh, we have item number nine, which is appointment to committees. And I think there is a list of the uh, standing committee roster that is in the full agenda packet. Um, we have our executive committee, finance and budget committee, personnel committee, governance committee, the fund development committee, youth grant committee, uh, and the volunteer advisory committee. Um, and I think that's it for current standing committees, right? Um, do we have a motion or do we, do we need a motion? Do we have a motion to ma uh, maintain the current committees? Are all the current members willing to continue to serve on those committees? Yep. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Then I will entertain a motion to approve the committee membership for the coming year. So moved. Second. All right. We have a motion and a second. All in favor, please say aye. 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 Any opposed? None. All right. So now we can uh, move on to item 10, which is promises to be a very contentious item. Uh, it's the approval of the 2019 board calendar. And uh, the big change is, is uh, 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 former Chair Gudger has 
asked us to consider um, in, in uh, consideration of, of a, another commitment of Director Mannheim's uh, that we move the meetings to 5 p.m. from 5.30. I know it's a radical can concept. I, can I comment? Please do. If that's a problem for anybody, I can keep making it at 5.30. It's just I have a standing commitment on Monday evenings that I'm always late to um, after this. So if we could move it up, it would be great. And if not... It has nothing to do with that time or anything? <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> I hadn't thought about that. <laughs> so any further discussion on this? Does, will this work for everybody? Uh, I, I see a quizzical look. Secretary? Um, I'll make it work. I just, yeah. I just have to make sure I adjust my yeah. calendar. Okay. <laughs> so it reminds me <laughs> half an hour earlier. Um, so I, 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 get, I will uh, take over the duties of sending out the uh, ICS file with the uh, okay. coming Great. Uh, years. Um, and I will adjust it. Uh, um, so, uh, any further discussion on that item? No, not as contentious as I feared. Um, <laughs> so, uh, I'll call the vote. All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Seeing none, all right. Thank you all. <laughs> no problem. Happy to oblige. Means that I can get to bed early. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> ah, so now we move on to, um, which often is the most exciting part of the evening, the oral report of the executive director. <laughs> and uh, Becca, would you kindly uh, entertain us? I with, will. Uh, this is all the good news. stuff. <laughs> I hope you brought popcorn. I have water. Next time. Okay, <laughs> and water. Okay, so um, uh, the most exciting part is um, that we are doing really well in the co-working center. We have um, been in profit for nine months, every month, and uh, it's really exciting because there was a time when we were thinking, how can we back out of this? Mm -hmm. But it's um, it's working, and um, we're we're we don't have like tons of money, but. We're stable, which is good. So now we can start thinking about other kinds of things, like how we can make tons of money. <laughs> but we're, we're good. We're not worrying about paying the rent, so everything's okay. Um, and we continue to have a lot more activity in the cafe area, and that's a wonderful thing. And um, it's, just, it's just really nice to see. It's kind of exciting. We've got, a new, um, we've got our new um, coordinator, and he's doing some interesting things. We're having a Christmas tree this year with... Um, the um, tags on it from Salvation Army where, where our members can buy presents for kids and we're doing a lot of little extra things. There are going to be cookies, I'll let you know when, and um, you can come over and have cookies with us. I think it's the 15th and uh, we're going to do First Fridays, we're going to do some movies in the studio. There's a lot of interesting, um, there's some really, I was really surprised at how many good movies are public domain. Who knew? So we're going to be showing some of those in here and that should be a, that should be a fun time. So um, that's great, and uh, we've been renting the studio, which is good. And um, last month, I reported to you that we had $1,500 in equipment rentals that were from outside people, not our own members. And this month, we have 1897 Wow. So we made a little more. Mm -hmm. So we're not like a hockey stick, but we're trending up. <laughs> and um, under paid services, we did about 18 meetings this month in November. I haven't got an exact number for you because Victor's on vacation. <laughs> And he knows the number. <laughs> so, but that's about where we usually are. We usually do between 17 and 20, sometimes 24 in the planning months. But I, I think we've probably done about 18. Um, uh, we are, Victor is continuing to manage the um, programming and the government meetings for CMAP. And he's done a really good job of straightening that out and making it more predictable and kind of getting, getting his team on a stable footing, and so um, he's done a great job, and um, as always. Question about that, is that a long-term arrangement or is that temporary? Well, it's long-term, I think, because um, there are not a lot of people who can do what Victor does. There are not a lot of people out there, and so what we did for Victor was we took a different thing off his plate. He really doesn't enjoy as he's been a very good sport, and he was up for the, he was game for the challenge, but he doesn't really like doing the um, documentation in the field projects that we do. And so um, the person that I have at uh, CMAP is really good at that. So he's gonna do those for us, and Victor's gonna do this for CMAP, and so we'll kind of <coughs> trade. Okay. And so it should, it should work out great. Victor will be happier, and my guy will be happy, and we'll be able to to, um, I think CMAP's actually going to make some money at this, so it's a good thing. I mean, not CMAP, but CTV. Oh, 
<laughs> wait a second. Wait a second. <laughs> wait a second. Wait. <laughs> Just a minute. Uh, this doesn't sound good to me. Um, and uh, since last month, um, the board approved the independent media initiative. Um, I've been working hard to get that thing rolling, and we. I've been working with a local attorney to do a um, an agreement for us. And um, he should have that done by the end of the week and putting together some guidelines for future applicants and looking at just some different ways to handle it. And, and so by the time um, I'll present what I have to the finance committee first and then let you guys tweak it and give info. And then we'll take it to the, um, the board retreat, the, the strategic plan, and we can tweak it further then. And by then I'll have tons of information. So that should be, I think it could be really even bigger and more interesting than I thought originally. I found out more information and some new options I didn't know were available and so I think it looks like it could open up to be a really cool thing for us. So I think it's already cool now but I think it could be way cooler and um, and, and bigger. I think there's a lot of room for growth in it so I'm, I'm hoping to set this up so we can grow. I don't want to box us into a thing that we have to stick with so not that our contract is big or anything, but we just want to leave it open for tweakage later. Tweakage? Um, <laughs> it's a technical term. <laughs> it's a media, media term, yes. It's tweakage. Oh. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> so under uh, equipment and facilities, uh, sad news about the internet. Uh, we thought it, I thought when I wrote this, as recent as when I wrote this note, uh, we would be it done by the end of January, but something has gone wrong, and the cable company sent a note that I received today saying they don't know when it'll be installed. Yeah. So they have some kind of something that, it's overloaded lines, there's not enough uh, capacity. Yeah, mm. and so they have to figure out how to go around the overloaded ones, who mm. knows what that means, and then uh, then we'll, be, we'll get it, but in the meantime, um, we'll just be waiting. And I'm sorry about that. We're doing the best we can. We have a pretty good connection. We have the business class, but it's just not big yeah. enough for the kinds of things we'd like to be doing. And under advertising, um, I, I mentioned Ian's promotion of movie nights. And um, we're, I'm just about, in a couple of weeks, I'll be ready to start back up on our internet, our new website project. I had to put it on hold a little while because I had a couple other things going on, but I'm going to get back to that and our Google ads are appearing, and sadly, I haven't been able to get analytics from them, but I hope to have them for you next month. But we've, we're feeling it. I mean, there's more people in our, in, our, uh, in our cafe, and we are renting more gear. So we noticed the difference. We just don't have any like actual numbers from them. So I will, I will get on them about that, and we should have some happy news mm -hmm. at the end of December. So that's my report for November. Question: the, yeah. the gear that was rented was a similar type of gear. That, oh, gosh. Well, no, I was just curious if it's you know, if, if, is is what's being attractive from outside the membership. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, yes. Well, no. It's usually different stuff from okay. outside the membership. So okay. it's more it's more of the uh, up level pro stuff. Okay, that we that's rent. what. It, okay, so it's, yeah. it's, it's that sort of thing. Yeah. Okay. It's different cameras and it's higher in mics and okay. that kind of stuff. Our members generally take kits out uh -huh. that we've that they're used to using and they've had for a long time. But um, we've had the, the, the studio has been rented by outside people and also some of our KinoFlow lights and things like that. The KinoFlows are really popular. Flow lights. In fact, we have a company from Scotland that wants that's to rent right. our KinoFlow lights and a whole bunch of other stuff. And so that, is that what a lot Scottish of this? Scottish Christmas. No, that's not that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, we haven't rented it to them. We have a reservation with them. Okay. And um, that's for, I, I'm not sure, I think that's for next month. But yeah, yeah we, we got have. an interesting question today. Ian asked me and I didn't know the answer. Are <clears> Ari lights, are they tungsten and daylight? I think they're only tungsten. Ari lights are tungsten. That's what I thought. Yeah. Yeah. And so, but we looked at it, and I showed him that we have actually a whole kit with three right. air lights. That's so what I want. Good, good. I told him. So, we have a kit. Right. It's all light, ready to roll. And so, yeah. but he has to tell them, and I showed him where the other light bulbs are, but uh, he needs to tell them that no, it's not daylight. Because they came from our from our studio, so we get a tungsten. They're yeah, they're tungsten lights. lights. They're not daylight. Um, and then that was the odd thing. I thought we probably shouldn't digress too much into this, but they right. wanted Kino Flow and the, and the Aries, so I'm not sure. They might be doing something outside. Because uh, right. flows, you can use them outside to light up a person, and they work pretty well. The other sure option is the HDMI, and that's just blinding. It's like having uh, the sun on you. Uh, so well. I've used flows in the 
in the I think they want four. For that. We have three. So we have we, others we, hanging in the oh, equipment that's, room. That's <laughs> <a good thing. laughs> so okay. well, you work on it, but yes. it was that was I'm interesting. Done. You know, all the way from Scotland. <laughs> I know it's very cool. They saw us. They went to our website. Oh yeah, yeah. Well, thank you very much, Becca. So, uh, as with any good story, there's there's some twists and turns, some plot twists there, but mostly good <laughs> news. So, uh, I think uh, we're all very happy. Um, great. So, uh, moving on, we have item number twelve, which is a presentation regarding the fiscal sponsorship project. And I understand we have a video. Uh, introduction? Yeah, is that current? Um, it's kind of blocking the. Yeah, oh. You have an introduction for me and then oh, okay. a speaker and then a video. Okay, okay. all right, very, very well. So we'll pass it back, pass it back over to you. Okay, so um, uh, I am asked uh, our first uh, our first participant in the independent media initiative to come in and show us what he's working on. And uh, the program, he has a, he's in process on a movie already, but we'll uh, be be doing stuff here in the studio, uh, hopefully in March, and um, I thought it would be interesting for you guys to meet him and, and uh, see what kind of movie he's making. So he's kindly brought a trailer, and um, his name is uh, Brian Saranova, and he's a producer of um, a number of films, and I will let him uh, take it away with Brian. Welcome. Thank you for coming. Thank you. Thank you. There's a mic right there. So. Uh, I just want to thank you again for letting me uh, and Trinity Cinema Productions participate in your fiscal sponsorship program as we raise funds in the continuation of the film. Um, I've been in filmmaking for the last uh, 10 years and theater for the last 25 and so this is uh, something that actually came from New Mexico. I currently moved out here about four years ago uh, to um, take this film. It was actually a short film and the script was rewritten to a feature film. Um, so now what we're doing uh, is uh, going to be utilizing the studio and um, the local um, areas for a location and uh, here shortly we'll be sending out a cast and crew call and internship um, call for the film. And uh, without further ado, I'd like to introduce the film. This is a teaser trailer from footage that we shot in New Mexico uh, for this um, push in the uh, completion of the film, so. Ademus, are you sure we're ready? You saw what happened to the subjects we used. Total memory loss, Ademus. You are really serious about this? When we plug in, in five days, to that massive supercomputer, Esther, something is gonna happen. Ladies and gentlemen, now as we see the aura cloud visible in the daytime sky, we watch the final exodus leaving from Las Cruces spaceport, traveling to the way station on the moon. For there they will wait out the four year passing of the aura cloud meteor storm. They will be integrated into the mind of the supercomputer, allowing for the elevation of thought. Without TC technology, Earth's protection would be impossible. What did you expect to find? What are you? What do you mean? I am you. I am Nicholas Ademus. It's like we created something. A presence, a consciousness, a ghost. And it realizes itself. And it's as if there's an instinct to live. Wow. 
Wow. <laughs> Thank you. I want to see the rest of that. <laughs> All right. Well, if you uh, if you stay tuned on Adimus, uh, the movie dot com, we'll be posting updates and there's more behind the scenes stuff on there and information about the cast and crew. And we'll be posting the crew call on the site as well as uh, Facebook and Instagram. Fantastic. Well, thank you again for allowing me this opportunity. How exciting! Thank you very much. You're thank very you. welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Was there anything further? Uh, no, that's it. Well, that, that's. Um, yeah, yeah. I think that uh, looks like a wonderful uh, way to start this new um, program. Um, I am very impressed. This is uh, about production values beyond anything I've seen on the uh, community television. <laughs> <laughs> I have a quick question. Yes, of How course. do you raise money for the film so you can produce the rest of it? Um, there's several different tiers of, of fundraising, Kickstarter program, um, and just the people that we know, people that will um, contact us. There, there's uh, different entry levels um, of that kind of thing. Great. Great. Uh, any other questions or comments from the, the board? All right. Seeing none, we'll uh, happily accept that presentation and look forward to... Um, uh, watching the progress of this project and projects to come as part of the fiscal sponsorship program. Um, so we can move on now to item 13, which is to consider creating the ad hoc strategic planning committee, um, which uh, sounds like a great idea. Um, do we have any sort of presentation on that? Um, or uh, well, we, made, wanna... we made the decision uh, last time when we met oh, okay. <coughs> that we you know, since we're doing so well right now, right. and that we don't have to kind of, you know, run after struggle day to day struggle, just to survive, know. right? So we can now actually, you know, look ahead, mm -hmm. and then from there, you know, fill everything in and and, and make strate strategic steps to really make community TV what it what really you know the seats are here. What right. it could be. Right. That's so that's what we said we're going to do and. Okay. And I think we want to get people on. Okay. That yes, I have a list here that has been provided by my predecessor, um, with yourself at the top of the list, um, Director no, Rand. No, no, not that top no? of the list. Uh, okay. In no, in no, in no particular, no particular order. order. In no particular order. Uh, <laughs> Director Rand, Director Owen, and Director Mannheim. Um, uh, from the board, and then uh, from the community, our former board member Nathan Benjamin has graciously um, agreed to serve on the committee, and former chair right. Keith Gudger um, will happily um, join that uh, endeavor to you know, forge a, uh, a plan to go forward and uh, expand and grow and, and, and see where we can, where we can uh, right. use our resources to, uh, to serve our mission. So um, would anybody like to, would any board member like to um, uh, put forth that motion? motion? Yes. I move that we establish this committee with the names that you provided in no particular order. <laughs> <laughs> Do I hear a second? Second. All right. Uh, any further discussion? Uh, okay. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Any opposed or abstentions? Seeing none, we have a new committee. And I'd like Welcome. to just uh, wish you good luck because the last time uh, Keith did one of these committees. It was in a whole other world of uh, <laughs> a world of different hurt. climate. Yeah, right? I was trying to think of the right word. To follow. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't an Alamogordo like the movie we just saw, but, but it would make a good film, probably. Right? <laughs> yeah. So I, I think that's a good build building point for this, and it's really exciting because they are the group that came up with the idea of, of this joint venture we're in now. So it does show that kind of thinking ahead sometimes really pays off. So good luck to all of you. So they I, actually I, started this new climate change at CTV, which is a positive climate change. That's right, <laughs> yes. So thank you. Fantastic. All right. Well, um, with that out of the way, we can move on to, I think it is item number 14, which is to consider the approval of our contract with CMAP, which, if I understand correctly, is what allows us the services of uh, our illustrious executive director. 
So, um, did anybody have any questions or comments on that agreement that is included in the board packet? I just like to have Becca run over anything that she's. I know there were some discussions on this, a few little things. I wonder if you could just highlight them for, you know, the record, and then we can just go from there. I, it looked fine to me, but I just thought it is an important document, and you know. It, it, it is an important document. I am not really involved in creating it. <laughs> I was going to say it. It'll be hard for me to do because I just like to be for you, and I like to be for CMAP. And I don't. If I ha if I did this contract, I would feel like it's a CMAP contract, and I'd be, I'd be thinking of you differently. Who? Where you're loyal? To. That's exactly right. <laughs> so I just don't like to think about it. But and, but I can tell you, it's the same as it was last year. The only thing changed is the money. Numbers. Right. It's just a 3% larger now than it was before, which is the usual kind of cost of living sort right. of right. go up thing. Yeah, actually I had a question on that because I, I was trying to figure out where the, I didn't have the previous one, but it crossed out a much <laughs> larger number. <laughs> I'm like, man, that's that was quite I, a... Uh, I, have to, I have the same reaction. It's <laughs> 4 billion <laughs> to 25 million. <laughs> And five hundred sixty dollars. Well, we're getting quite a deal this year. <laughs> I hope you get some of that. I'm not sure how that happened. So what was that's a problem. What was? I don't know what the original. But you said it's. But I could go back from the ninth. The, you know the. Right. the so okay. Yeah. Okay. So. Yeah. But now, you know, I think it's what, in the three thousand dollars. Yeah. That sounds right. Yeah. But I, I think the most important thing is that uh, we we both worked on it. Both CMAP. And we did, and there has been extensive communication between some members of our board and the <coughs> their board. And I think that in itself is very important. That is a very positive uh, collaboration that, uh, for how many years we've had this now? Five years? Three Six years. years? I think this is the fourth one, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. I started in the December of 14. Mm -hmm. But then, of course, we already had That's right, you had, that, you had it going the year before had, me or two years before. Yeah. So I think it's about six years. So, I mean, that again is, is a very positive, um, you know, it's, it's stable. <coughs> and we like that. Yes. So, but other than that, it is the same contract. Um. That was just to make sure you paid attention. <laughs> <laughs> So I assume there is a standard copy uh, somewhere that has no has the actual numbers with no cross uh, right. strike through. Right. Yeah, before the signature, that'll be taken. Yeah. <laughs> um, so uh, if there are no further comments, questions, um, I will entertain a motion to approve that contract with CMAP. I will, I will move. I just have to wait. make one comment. The yes. other change that we haven't talked about, which I like all through here, is we've changed this using best efforts to seek sponsorship grants, offsets, revenues, fundraising to achieve self-sustainability. Self-sustainability has been changed to maintain. maintain. Yeah. And that's yeah. nice to be able to say. Yeah. So with that, I will uh, move approval. And I'll second that. All right. We have a motion and a second. Any further discussion? No, nope. I'll call the order. Uh, call the question then. All in the favor, please indicate by saying aye. 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 Any opposed or abstentions? Seeing none. That carries unanimously. All right. Um, so now we can move on to uh, item 15, which is uh, consider adopting board resolution 001 2018. Is this our first resolution of the year? Yeah. Approval of authorized signatures for bank accounts, which is to remove. Uh, Mr. Gudger and add myself. And were there any other changes? Or um, I think you are you on there, Matilda? I've been on there. Yes. Okay. I think Janice, you're on there. Yeah. No. No, no. I don't okay. think so. It's, a, it's just, so for the rest Larry. Of the yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So the, the officers. It's the officers and the executive director. Right. Okay. Right. And I will move approval. All right. Second. <coughs> Motion and a second. Uh, all in favor? Uh, Aye. Aye. Right. Any opposed? No, it carries unanimously. All right. Um, <coughs> moving right along, we have item number 16, which is the summaries from the subcommittees that were formed at the board retreat. Um, so um, do we have a hot studio update? Looks like uh, Citizen Pleasure is. <laughs> <laughs> so um, the committee is myself and Adam Wade and Becca. 
um, Becca indicated that this is a really busy time of year with the holidays and all. So Adam and I got together to review some of the equipment that's been proposed for the hot studio. We looked at the lights that we currently already own, and they are halogen lights. We turn them on in the space. We discovered that they're too hot. Uh, it smelled like ozone when we were done. We did not think that's appropriate. So we will be suggesting LED lights for that space. Uh, we used the software that Maitreya has recommended. We brought up a PowerPoint presentation and switched the camera back and forth. Uh, we discovered an issue with how that worked, and thanks to Maitreya's advice, we now have a solution. Uh, All right. So I'm proposing that uh, we will put together an equipment list. I think it's going to be small enough it won't require board approval, but we'll probably at the January board meeting you know, let you know where we are on that. And I and probably Adam and Becca will meet between now and then to uh, move forward. Fantastic. Any questions on any of this? Uh, I had a question. Yeah. Um, so I, I was watching earlier today the, the last board meeting, which I was um, absent from, and uh, I saw the, the little uh, PSA you made for the, the station. It looked great. Um, sound, I was curious what, what microphone you used for it. Sounded, the sound was not the best quality. Hmm. Um, what microphone were you using for? I was using one of our checkout um, shotgun microphones. Oh, really? I was using uh, one that's, that's uh, phantom only because that's not in our current checkout because people are expected to be able to use a battery with them and that one's phantom only. Oh, okay. Um, and I used the USB preamp with it and the standard computer. Okay. Well, I might so, have to go back and listen to it again because that sounds like <coughs> a recipe for good quality sound. Yeah, it's a very expensive mic. Yeah. Is it? Oh yeah, it's okay. like seven hundred dollars. Well, you know, it was done in my home office, and I just had it sitting somewhere, so it may have, <laughs> it may have picked up computer noise. Right. It may have heard, heard a cat meowing or something. Like that. <laughs> But overall, I was very impressed with, yeah. with the results of that. Well, I, what I wanted, the way that one was done is I used, as you know, the internal graphics for that program, and I set it up to automatically switch from slide to slide so that it ran exactly 30 seconds, right. which is a really nice feature, but probably not one offered in the Hot Studio because um, we want, we're going to have to standardize on a simple set of directions right. that someone could come in and just use it. And I don't know if any other board members have talked to other people, but I've, I've talked to a number of members in the community, and there seems to be some excitement about the idea, mm -hmm. especially if it's reasonably priced, because it's, mm -hmm. you know, it's something simple to walk into, walk away with something. And just as another note, this board has asked for the strategic planning that we consider how we might support future elections, because I believe mm -hmm. we consider that part of our mission. Mm -hmm. It would seem to me that the studio would be great for collecting statements from mm -hmm. people who are running for mm -hmm. office. Mm -hmm. and, uh, just you know, tell them these are hours you can come in and just sit down and make whatever a statement. Mm -hmm. Maybe have a list of standardized questions pertaining on the office. So it seems like it might fit well with that as well. So it's something we can consider strategically as we move forward with the plan. That even if it's not a big money maker, it might be something that fits well with our mission. Great. Thank you, Keith. Thank you. Anybody, any uh, other directors have any questions or comments? Okay. Thank you. Um, I guess I am officially the uh, the venues uh, chair of that subcommittee, and um, uh, Director Owen has been very kind and taken a lot of initiative in and in moving that forward. And I have been dragging my heels, unfortunately, with the idea that. You know, we may not get too many shots to talk to these people, so it's probably good to be very well prepared because there's a limited number of venues in the county. Um, but uh, so I'd like to go there feeling very well prepared. And and uh, Becca had given me the blessing to come up with some sample equipment packages. But it sounds like at the Kumba they might have some idea of what they want. But, um, so they are willing to meet with us at the beginning of December. So okay. I'll work with the three of us and set up a meeting. Sounds great. All right. Well, I look forward to meeting with them. Um, I was at a concert. Uh, the other night up at the 1440 in the new facility there and they have a beautiful hall and and I got a bit of inspiration as far as another uh, selling point for for this services is um, the term in the industry is IMAG which I think stands for image magnification so in, in, in live concerts often <coughs> especially in a large venue there will be 
a camera on the performer and they'll have on a large screen, you know, so the people in the city in the back can, can actually mm -hmm. see the, the mm -hmm. face of the performer. And so I was thinking, huh, what, what we could offer some, a place like uh, the Rio, for instance, where there are seats at the back, you can hardly see the performer, is this sort of uh, system that yeah. we could yeah. lease to them could be used to project an image of the performer up on their big screen there. Mm -hmm. And, you know, maybe have, they won't have as many of the cool psychedelic colors of lights, mm -hmm. but, um, but it's another selling point. So I definitely want to work that into our, our yeah. pitch. Yeah. Um, right. as a maybe a, a place like the Kumbo, which is very intimate, might not be as, as big of a selling point, but for the larger venues, for sure, I think that will um, mm, great. Um, be hopefully compelling. Um, okay, and, and what um, were they playing at uh, at fourteen forty? What what show? Was oh, uh, it was Krishna Das, uh, who is a, I'm not sure if you're familiar with the kirtan uh, genre. So it's chant. It was a, okay. it was an interesting guy. He, to me, he sounds like Wolford Brimley, you know, uh, <laughs> doing an oatmeal commercial. But um, he's very popular, actually. It was sold out. <laughs> Um, but he wears his plaid shirts and, and, and it's very down to earth and funny and um, so, but uh, yeah, they had one camera on him and, and big screens and um, light bulbs went off in my head, so. Um, yeah, yeah, so. I, just to comment on that, I wouldn't write off um, the Quimbo for that kind of thing as well, not for magnification so much, but if you think about you know, depending on where you are in the venue, Interesting you, you, you can't see the, the mm -hmm. keyboard, those kinds sure. of things. Where sure. Instruments. Yeah. 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 If you get a nice close up of the yeah. keyboard player's hands, mm -hmm. for sure. Depends on where the speakers are, you sometimes can't see the yeah. guy on the right. Yeah. Right. Exactly. Right. 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 Yeah. So, one, one more one more thing to add to our, um, our, our, our ideas. Great thank idea. you. Yes, thank you. Great I'm running out of words now. <laughs> I'm not used to talking this much at the board meetings. <clears throat> so. Um, I think that's it for now um, for the uh, subcommittees from the board retreat. And we can move on to the oral report from the, the back, the voluntary advisory committee. committee. Yeah. Matilda, would you please? Well, the, the VAC has started up the uh, orientation, and uh, we did already a field camera class, which was extremely nice. Uh, as you know, uh, Rusty, Becca's husband, does this as his community, give back to the community. And he does such a wonderful job. He just pulls people in, and you know, with the stories, and, and people tell stories. And so I felt a little bit more enthusiasm from people to possibly go out, because really what we want is use that class to train people to use our equipment and to go out in the community, and then eventually have you know, our members learn better editing skills mm -hmm. and then you know because the community always asks us can you come and tape our programs and you know in the past when we didn't have difka that was done for a minimum um, fee and so so it's it takes a long time but i really felt that time it was such an incredible class so we also did the studio camera class same thing actually some of the people from the field camera class came also to the studio camera class and to the orientation. Mm -hmm. Now Keith is going to do in December an audio class and I hope the same enthusiasm will happen there. Uh, and we did a studio supervisor training because we realized that uh, we're wearing our studio supervisors out. You know, you know, those are the people that set up everything and then the producer comes in, they do the thing and they make sure everything is studio neutral when, when they leave. Mm -hmm. And uh, so we, we trained five people yeah. and this Sunday I'm going to our a satellite uh, community what's his title? coordinator coordinator right uh, he's going to I'm going to give him his test his practical test we also give them a, a, a written test and Keith and I are working on that together and uh, that was that was great and and David who's here and Steve you know organized it and, and we're helping with that so we're going to hopefully um, certify some more studio supervisors so that means that uh, people in the community can come in, get trained, and get skills, and then can do more programming, uh, and we don't wear out our studio supervisors. And our studio supervisors also have been helping with some of the paid programming, so that's very important. When, when producers come in from out of town, somebody needs to you know, help and watch and make sure everything goes well in here. So, so we're, we're kind of changing our direction a little bit, and I hope... Uh, that's going to bring in more people and um, get you know more certified people and 
better train people. So that's all I have for right now. Great. Thank you very much, Director Rand. Any questions, comments on that? All right. Oh, and, and any board member is welcome to come to our orientation and our classes. And, um, you know, you should just come in, and even if you just want to see it. We do crazy things with people. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they stand on their head and everything. Oh, really? Just come you and check trust, out. do trust exercises, falling backwards, <laughs> yes. with a oh, camera in your hand? Oh, exactly. <laughs> All of that stuff. <laughs> And the lights shining on, no, just kidding. <laughs> Hazing. No. Yeah, all, all that, all that, all that. Great. Well, I, I may take you up on that invitation. I've been wanting to update my skills and knowledge yeah, about, yeah, yeah. since uh, I go back to the old analog days of SVHS. And, right. Yeah. Um, that great. was before my time. No. <laughs> well, thank you very much for that. Um, so we can move on to the oral report of the board chair. I've, uh, my report is I've, um, almost successfully um, conducted one meeting, so uh, thank you. Um, no, I, uh, I did want to, um, I've been assured, I've been, it's been stressed to me repeatedly and repeatedly uh, and again that um, Chair Emeritus Gudger would definitely not want a big fuss made over the completion of his term here on the board and um, and we're going to do our best to honor that, but I do feel, and I think other board members would agree, that we'd be gravely remiss if we did not acknowledge, um, in some way, Keith's innumerable contributions mm -hmm. to this institution, um, in some modest fashion, at least. So, um, you know, but I, 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 in, in, to protect my shins from being gravely damaged, <laughs> um, we're going to forego the planned Broadway-style musical number. <laughs> um, <laughs> And uh, though I would have loved to have seen uh, Director Mannheim in a top hat and tails singing Hello Dolly. <laughs> Maybe another time. Another, another time. Another time. But uh, so, and I'm going to skip the rest of these comments that I prepared and just say a big heartfelt thank you, Keith, from myself and from the board. And um, we look forward to seeing you on the other side of the camera, on the other side of the glass. Uh, changing light bulbs, you know, <laughs> going back to being volunteer of the, the year and the decade and the century. Um, and we really appreciate all the efforts that you have done on behalf of community television in your previous role. Um, and, here, here. here, here. And, uh, here. and there will be, uh, I don't know, is that a secret? Yeah, yeah. I, I, uh, not, not, there will be there will be appropriate refreshments um, suitable for the occasion uh, following the meeting. Um, <laughs> At a location undisclosed. <laughs> <laughs> so just speaking for myself, I, I got to say that um, I'm no, very I humble. Told to let you do it. Oh, oh, boy. oh, oh. You didn't tell me. There might not be refreshments. Oh, uh oh, uh oh. <laughs> That's why I said undisclosed. Undisclosed. <laughs> There's tea. Next meeting. Next meeting. Okay. Um, there's been a mix-up. Um, <laughs> so you'll, you'll have to settle for our thanks at this point. But um, speaking for myself, I, I'm very humbled and honored to be um, entrusted with this, this um, task. And, uh, You're doing a great job. Oh, well, thank you. Yeah. Um, I, well, I know there's no way that I can possibly match. Uh, I wasn't going to say anything more about it. Okay, stop it then. Okay. Um, I, I, I will say, though, you know, as Becca acknowledged to me before the meeting, that. Um, the only way I can do this is with the, the people that are sitting around me here and, of course, the people behind the cameras. But um, we have a board, an excellent board of, um, you know, people who are experienced in many aspects of life. Some have been on the board for a long time. I'll be asking lots of questions um, and certainly relying on everybody's counsel, advice, uh, and so on and so forth. And um, with that, that's my report. And uh, here's to... Um, Many more years of community television's uh, continued growth and thriving. Um, and <laughs> uh, let's move on to uh, item number 19, which is board member staff requests for specific items to appear on the next meeting agenda. Any? Nope. Seeing none, we can move on to number 20, which is announcements. And um, I would like to thank our volunteers um, who made tonight's um, cable cast. Uh, possible. Uh, Linda Janakis, Karen Scott, Rob Gray, J. 
Jim Russo, Nick Kirkendall, and David Goldman. Thank you all very much. And with that, I will, with that, I will uh, entertain a motion for adjournment. Move to adjourn. I'll move to adjourn. Second. We have a motion and a second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? With that, we will call the meeting adjourned. Thank you very much.